prompting federal agents to call off efforts to seize one Nevada cattle rancher's herd after a tense standoff, all because they say he owes up to $1 million in unpaid grazing fees, but the rancher claims rights to use the land his family settled in the 19th century. William Lajeunesse live in Bunkerville, Nevada with the latest. William? Well, I felt right now it is a very fluid situation and getting worse compared to what it was a few hours ago. Police and SWAT teams are in an armed standoff with protesters just up the road. We have a live view that we're going to take some video right now. Basically, you have protesters who are blocking the southbound lane of Interstate 15. That's a major north-south interstate between Nevada and Utah. They were up there in trying to retrieve cattle that belonged to rancher Clive Bundy that had been impounded by the Bureau of Land Management. Bundy had said about an hour or two ago, listen, if I don't hear from the BLM in one hour, we're going to go get them. About 200 protesters left this area, headed up there, went to the pen impound area, and then blocked I-15 in the process. That brought out federal, state, local police, SWAT teams, and that's where it is right now. Earlier today, however, about two hours ago, Protesters were celebrating in victory after the BLM had decided to back down and pull out. They said for safety of their employees and the public. This after hundreds had showed up here from around the West to support Bundy in his battle with the BLM. The agency says that Bundy had defied two court orders to remove his cattle from federal land. He refused to do that, and yet... They backed down out of fear because so many of these out-of-staters were carrying rifles of their own, AR-15s, a lot of sidearms out here. Earlier in the week, there had been a confrontation, and the federal agents had tasered one of his sons, tackled one of his daughters, and again, out of fear of this escalation or some provocation, they decided to back down. Here's some soundbite that we have from earlier today when the crowd heard that the BLM had backed down. I believe a press release has already been put forth that the BLM is going to cease this operation. <laughs> To some, Bundy is a freeloader and an outlaw for his failure to pay his grazing fees over 20 years. To others, of course, he is a hero, a folk hero, if you will, the last rancher in Clark County, and now he has caused the feds to back down. I'm going to wrap it up. We'll bring it later to you about how the situation resolves itself regarding the 400 or so cattle that have been impounded to the feds. Will they go back to the rancher? Will they stay with the government? Back to you. It's really incredible and unbelievable. Uh, stay safe out there because uh, it's definitely a tense situation. Okay, William Lajeunesse, we'll look forward to your update a little bit later. And this is a Fox News alert. Now, you just heard from the Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy, who is in the middle of a tense standoff with the federal government over his cattle's grazing on public land. It's actually state land. Now, Bundy family supporters have been showing up from all over the country all week. And joining me now from the ranch are Cliven Bundy's sister, Margaret Houston, is with us, and one of the family supporters, Richard Jensen. Uh, welcome both of you to the program. Uh, Margaret, let me start with you. I, I understand that you got into a bit of a tussle with the uh, BLM... Uh, agents out there is that true yeah what yeah happened? i did yeah what happened um we were uh just at the picket lines you know just demonstrating and we noticed up on the mountain that there was uh, you know rangers coming down so uh we spotted them and they were there was 14 to 15 vehicles we noticed there was a dump truck pulling a, low, a backhoe so we wanted to know what was in the dump truck and what they were doing up there and so we headed up and met them before they hit the pavement um i i went up the dirt road and uh you know i was hollering in the window go home we want you to go home we want our cows back uh you know that kind of thing uh, a couple of them went by me um i i got in front of one um uh, he just kept coming and kind of pushed me with his truck a little bit. I st stood to the side, another one come up, and I was just hollering at him. Same thing, go home. We don't want you here. We want our cows. 
Hey, no, Harvey, that's I, the thing. I, um, if, if, I don't understand one thing. This is state property, right? This isn't federal land. No, no federal right, land. This right, is so it's state property. County state and, land. and the desert tortoise is thriving, and, and the government's killing them because there's too many of them. Well, they're they're not thriving out on the desert as much. They've hauled them to count, uh, areas in Vegas, fenced areas, and they have them there because they've taken them off the land in Vegas around the around the area. You had to pay money. Uh, per acre to see if there was turtles. Yeah. They would take them off, put them in this impoundment. Now they can't afford to pay for them and take care of them, so they're killing them. Uh, that, Rich, and yeah, let me go to Richard. Richard. I guess, Richard, what everybody, I, I'm talking to everybody, our crew here, everybody wants to know why is the government handling it this way? When it's, if, 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 if for example, the cattle don't hurt the desert tortoise, that that Cliven has done this for his family's done it from the 1800s on. Why are they provoking this confrontation this way? It's like they're arresting the cattle, and if they really wanted, to, if they felt they had a legal case, I guess they could try and go in and arrest Cliven. Why are they handling it this way? Has anyone given you an explanation? Well, well, Sean, I don't know uh, what their real motive behind it all is. Uh, it don't make any sense. We never thought in our wildest dreams that they would come out armed uh, and treat the local residents here like they uh, had no rights. No, uh, well, is that, I mean, it's like a martial law around here. And, and, and you've got free speech zones, and only in those zones. Is it true you have snipers up in the hills? Yes. There is. Yes, there is. And if you uh, drive to Mesquite on I-15 and look at the top of the Mesa, you will see snipers positioned at the top of the Mesa and look overlooking their compound. This quote, quote, supposedly protecting the compound. This has all the, this has there, all the markings. Been... Go ahead. This has all the markings of a disaster in the making here. It really does. It's, it's very scary. It's very scary as a president and citizen of the United States to have guns trained on you for no reason. Yeah, the government doesn't have more important well, things to do than, than fight for land that they don't even own. Right. Well, exactly right. I mean, our freedoms are on the edge of being taken away from us, and when they're gone, they won't be, they, we won't be able to get them back. All right, guys, uh, we have our crew out there tonight, and we're going to have much more on this story, and we'll follow it all weekend, and we'll see you back here hopefully Monday. Thank you for being with us, guys, and, and stay safe out there. It's obviously very threatening. Thank you.